Hi guys. So today I'm going to be reviewing one of my latest reads and as the title suggests Think Like a Monk by Jay Shetty. So I have been following Jay for quite some time on social media. And when I saw that he is going to release his own book on the journey of being a monk and all the experiences that he has gone through to make the change in his life i was quite excited to read all of that and to tell you the truth i wasn't at all disappointed by the book it is a must read for all the book lovers and all the people who are searching for something to read on self love and how to cut the chaos from your life how to regain the strength of your own life again and much more so in this book he has shared his raw experiences of how he became a monk and how this all changed his life forever and the plus point in this book is that he has shared all the experiences with us with so many little exercises that we can perform in our daily lives to make a major change in our life without being the monk we can still inculcate the practices that he did over in the ashram first point is that the language he has used in the book is completely understandable he hasn't used any difficult words or any difficult language that you have to search for in the dictionary at every two page it is a plus point for all the readers or or the beginners you must say who are looking for something good to read they can start with this book and the language in itself will not allow you to fall apart from the track of the book it will keep you in sync with the flow of the book how he explains the difference between the monk mind and the monkey mind so you must be wondering what's monkey mind monkey mind is stubborn mind that reacts often obsessively in some or maybe in major of the life situations of ours so he has given us some practices some exercises that way we change our monkey mind to our monk mind and make our lives easier and trust me when i say that it's really implementable i don't know whether it's a word or not but you get the feeling book has been quoted perfectly he has used many references of the bhagavad gita and his teachers and the experiences he had while this journey so those really help us to stay in connect with the book and allow us to inculcate the message that he is giving throughout the book the practical exercises he has put in between the chapters and in the last of the chapters he has segmented the book in three parts and in all the three parts he has given us practical exercises and has concluded the chapters with them as well so these little exercises as we perform in our daily lives will make a major difference in our lives he has shared his raw experiences of the journey and how this all has changed his life forever he has shared his life journey as well all those fears he has been hiding from himself also he has come up with those too and he has given us a more practical sort of view on his life as well so that allows the reader to be in sync with him and connect with him more and more so 
at the end i would like to conclude this this book is a 10 on 10 from my side if you like the video give it a like share and subscribe hit the bell icon so whenever i upload a video on youtube you will be notified bye